I'd just like to leave this for the mayor if I could. It's just a press release and a couple business cards. I'd like to drop this off for uh, Greg Muller. In the Chief's box and one in uh, Sergeant Patty's box. I mean, at the end of the day, you guys purport to work for us, and transparency is pretty important. Sure. Hey guys, it's uh, Damo here, Manchester, uh, New Hampshire. We are uh, boondocking it here while we're here. And I just came back to Marv. And it looks like we got a love note. See? Let's just check out what it says. Love note from Ordnance Violations Bureau. It says that there's a tan vehicle. This, this doesn't look very tan. Commercial vehicle prohibited overnight parking. Now let's just look around at any street signs. Let's see if we see any. There's none down there. Okay, so here's a driveway. So technically, you can look back. And here's no street signs saying anything. Oh, well, here's one that says no parking anytime from there to the stop sign. But uh, I'm also curious if a uh, recreational vehicle is a commercial vehicle. Recreational? I don't know. I just realized this sticker is on the side. And it says, this side is the vehicle information. Here it says, two, vehicle has been left unattended on the way of right away and therefore for a period of time greater than 24 hours. So we're here at uh, Manchester City Hall. Uh, we're going to go talk to the uh, Ordnance Violations Bureau for this uh, supposed uh, bribe. I now have to pay $50 for having uh, what they claim is a commercial vehicle parked overnight. Hey, I want to let you know I'm filming this for my records. Um, I have a question. Last, yesterday, I get, or this morning I guess, I got a uh, ordinance citation. And uh, I was I had a question on if, how y'all define a commercial vehicle. You're not answering anything if I'm filming it. Well, I would like to because I mean I have every right to film you. Uh, my question is how do you guys define a commercial vehicle in the ordinance? That has any writing on it. Like a bumper sticker? And how does one define what an advertisement is, though? Okay. And is there a co is there a actually written down like a definition of a commercial vehicle? Because I looked online today, I couldn't find it. Could you provide me with a copy? Okay, um, and then what sort of remedy do I have if I don't agree with this citation? And You're more than welcome to just keep the ticket in writing, which I can give you a form to fill out. All right, now we're at the city clerk's office. We'll see if we can get some answers. How are you doing? I'm going to record this for my records. I've been uh, trying to get some answers here. I have a uh, got a, a citation for commercial vehicle prohibited from overnight parking. But, and I was trying to find the definition online for a commercial vehicle because I don't think that's applicable to my situation. And I've gone to a couple offices here and no one's able to provide me with that language. And I was hoping that y'all could do so. Well, let me see if I can find somebody to help you. Thank you. Hi. This is Kevin Kincaid. Hey, Kevin. How you doing, sir? Good, I'm Peter. Peter, good, good to see you. Too. Yep. <laughs> Just uh, recording this for my records. I'm trying to get, I guess, some accountability. I don't. Can I speak with you about this? Uh, you can, but I'm going to tell you right now that it's up to the courts to make the determination. Okay. When police issue a summons, they issue a parking ticket mm -hmm. for a violation. They're claiming that your vehicle is a commercial vehicle by ordinance definition. These are the definitions under the ordinance. Right. If you're disputing that, mm -hmm. then you fill out this form, you go to the Ordinance Violation Bureau, mm -hmm. you talk to them, they'll explain the process, they'll issue a court date, you go to court, you have your information to provide to the, the judge, the judge will hear the police side and he'll make a determination whether or not that's classified as a commercial vehicle. I don't I don't think it's right that the burden is on is on me to prove that it, it doesn't meet this statute. I think it's on the folks who want to try to take money from me. And you need to go to court and you need to address that to the judge. Right, I'm saying that's the burden is on me then to use up more of my time to go to court and to fill out these this how, can paperwork. I, how can I help you with that, sir? There's nothing I can do for I mean, you in that situation. 
That's the process. That's the legal process. Right, but it, it doesn't mean it's right just because it's, it's you know, on a piece of paper signed by, like, whoever signs these things. I, you know. I mean, I would hope you would, I mean. I don't know what you seemed, want me to say, sir. It seems, it, to, me, it seems, to me, it seems common sensical what, what would constitute a commercial vehicle or not. You need to take that up in front of a judge. I mean, I hope you guys can understand my frustration. I'm not trying to get on you guys. I'm trying to give you what information I can, sir. There's nothing more I can do for you. Well, I hope if you run into any of these folks that issue such tickets, you'd remind them that uh, it's probably not right to shake folks down that, one, don't even met, meet this, the definition of their statutes, and two, if there's no no victim to anybody, there shouldn't be any, you know. I have no comment on that, sir. Like I told you, I provided you the information you asked for. Okay. Do you guys have any idea how long the time the turnaround for this kind of thing takes? I have no idea. You discuss it with them over an ordinance violation, and they'll give you a court date. All right. Have a good day. You too. Back at the ordinance violations bureau, gonna submit this form. All I wrote was uh, the vehicle in question does not meet the commercial aspect of the ordinance cited, therefore the fine should be dismissed. Signed it. All rights reserved. Under arrest. Thank you. That's it? So that's it? Stick it under the radio. I don't know. Is that it? There's an... Sorry? I'm set? Right. Well, I mean, I'd prefer not to be threatened with $50 fines, so I, I choose to record for my own protection. Do you know what kind of timeline that usually takes? A week? Okay. All right, have a good day. Yes, sir. Howdy, I'm uh, back. I'm just submitting this form. Okay. Could I uh, get some sort of receipt that y'all received it or any timeline you think it may take to get some feedback? Uh, do you have a number they can reach you at? Yeah, I have a phone number and address on the top there, on the uh, top of the back. Yep. I just explain the dates I've come in, what's been explained to me, I've provided my contact info and all the questions, information sought. All right, appreciate it. All right. Yep, have a good one. I'm back. I'll be back a lot till we get our charges dropped. Okay, what do you need today? Well, this was left on my vehicle last night and it says, uh, Officer Brunini, I think it's Kenneth, came by yeah. at uh, 1230 and said the vehicle will, will be uh, well, cited. Been the same space for more than 24 hours or longer? Right, but it says a vehicle has been left unattended, and we, it was not unattended. We were actually in the vehicle and right around the vehicle since it's been parked. I'm not familiar with those, so I'm going to ask you to go over the traffic. Okay. Okay. Oh, here. Never mind. Let me have it here. <laughs> oh, it is good. I didn't know you were behind. Oh, Sorry, it's sticky. Is that jumping? No, I don't know. I'm recording for my records. Has your vehicle been out there more than 24 hours? Has it not moved? Um, I mean, it's been there, but it's not been unattended, as the stat, as the RSA states. Uh, I mean, can you point to that ordinance? I, I I have not seen any ordinance that says you can't have a vehicle parked in the same spot. That says left unattended, and my vehicle is not unattended. I, it's an RV, and I live in it. Okay, let me see if someone can explain to you better, okay? I'm going to record no. this for my records. Okay. Uh, well, the issues with some of the language on there, I guess. Uh, okay, the, the language is written by the legislature. Right, but. Okay. Right, I understand that, but my. I guess my issue is how the language is, uh, I don't think it's applicable to my situation because it said, the, the thing circled says a vehicle has been left unattended yep. and my vehicle was not left unattended. And that's, I mean, that's the big. Well, the thing is, the reason why this is set up is so the, the, the circulation on the city streets, the city owns the streets. Okay. Well, the, the public owns the streets. Well, the city, the city's responsible for making sure that the public has access. So sure. The reason why the vehicles need to be moved is so some of your neighbors can park on the street too. You can't leave your vehicle on the street for more than 24 hours. 
by state law, by, sta by the statute that's on well, this red tag. Well, it says unattended. Am I okay, I'm not going to dispute the semantics of this well, red tag, okay? What it says is that you have to move the vehicle every 24 hours so that gives your neighbors access to the roadway and use to, to the parking area also. Okay. Can you print me out that that, 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 that right, language? It's right there, sir. That says unattended. My okay, I'm, not not unattended. The, I'm not going to get into the semantics with you. Well, that's an important point. Well, you of can the, take it up with the legislature, sir. Okay, you cannot leave your vehicle. No, I think you guys are improperly applying that to, to us. Okay, I'm not going to dispute that with you, okay? Did you move the vehicle, sir? Did you remove the vehicle? Did you move it? My, the, my you, question, that's not the issue okay, today. I don't have time to debut. Dispute, well, I, I would like you to make time because you I don't work have for time. us. I don't you have work time. for us, sir. And I, I, okay. I we that, get done with this conversation. I don't have time to dispute this. It's pretty clear, cut and dry. The law is made by the legislature. The reason why the law is in effect. Right, but you're incorrectly applying it. Okay, I'm not going to dispute that. It's you. not on. My vehicle is never unattended. If the vehicle is left and there's nobody in the vehicle, it is un, it's considered an unattended vehicle. If that's what. So, are you telling me that Manchester PD goes around and keeps track of where every vehicle is, and if they're not moving every calls, 24 hours? If somebody calls and complains because they can't park on a city street because somebody has left their vehicle in front of their house for a prolonged period of time, and they can't park on that street, they will call us, and then we will red tag the vehicle. If the vehicle's moved within 24 hours, if we have the time to check on it, we will remove the vehicle. If not, and the vehicle's moved, we don't deal with it at that point. So are you telling me you received a call about my vehicle? I don't know, sir. And I don't have time to look that up right now. I don't know. So how do I obtain to find out if anybody called and complained about my vehicle? Um, can I can I get a, do a FOIA a, request for all the calls y'all received and, and who was dispatched out to do this? You can do, do that for records on uh, Tuesday morning after the holiday, right? They can they give you access to that, that information. I can't do that right now. But records can do that on Tuesday morning for you, okay? It's not okay because I don't want to continue to get threatened with fines. Okay, I'm not gonna. I, well, could I could I keep that. my record? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, another issue is this not isn't even filled out completely. It's not abandoned or a hazard, as it says the circle one. Okay, uh, we're done with this conversation, sir. So you guys are just gonna threaten me and then not have a conversation about it? Yeah, howdy. I'm uh, recording this for my records. Um, I was just talking with one of your colleagues, and I was. He said if someone uh, called and complained about my vehicle, then right, so I was uh, instructed by the records division to uh, fill out another form, a uh, information request, to uh, find out uh, the information sought, which is for me, if anybody complained, if there were any calls received, if there was dispatcher log made, and the. Um, Activity log of Officer Brunini, number 32, for the dates of September 1st and 2nd. So, see the text all on here. So, we'll see what they do now. Howdy. Sure, thank you. Um, the reason for my call today was that I received a second uh or like red or orange ticket that that said I'm guilty of a RSA violation that if I don't move my vehicle within 24 hours it'll be towed. Because, second threat yeah, second threat to tow my vehicle, and I, I, you know, I can't. I'm not a fan of continually being threatened, and then I go in and try to go through these proper channels, and then I get threatened again. So. What do we? Um, you want to plan to come by for uh, one o'clock tomorrow? Yep, that sounds great. And